Hello, um, so Jane Day has asked if I'll do a shopping haul. Um, so that's what I'm going to do. Um, I've just had my shopping delivered from Sainsbury's. And I'm going to just run through the receipt. I'm just going to do a video, Guy, of the, of the food because Jane Day wanted to see the shopping haul. What food would you like? Is it strawberry? Cereals. Cereals. And this one, please. <laughs> okay, go, go, go. Okay. Go. Do you want me to just put you together a bowl of cereals? And that. And that as well as a, as a snack a day? Yeah. But I'll just pause. Okay, so, um, yeah, just had the shopping delivered. I've put most of it away because I need to be able to put it away straight away um, as it arrives, otherwise, I'm there forever putting the shopping away. So, um, most of it's away. Um, I'm going to get my little list for my receipt. This should be around here somewhere. So I just took it off. Here he is. Okay, so I'm going to go through my list. And then I shall... So I know what I've got, and then I shall show you. So I've got some red seedless grapes. This is all from the Sainsbury's. Red seedless grapes. Um, I've got some... What's that? NFC juice. Looks like, not from concentrate juice, that looks like this smoothie thing. Yeah, never from concentrate. So this is some uh, orange mango and passion fruit juice. This is from, oh it's not, it's not smoothie, that's why. It's juice. Um, because um, Guy wanted some of that. I, it's interesting about juice in terms of I don't drink juice anymore because obviously it was the um when i first started it um started slimming world that juice was obviously sin so i basically stopped doing it and um, but it's one of them things that might be useful is there a savvy sin aren't they having juice but i'm so out of habit of having it that i don't know whether i i certainly haven't missed it at all not at all i not it was never something i particularly wanted to eat or drink um so i've got some cherries some little Cherries from Sainsbury's, the potato cherries. At the moment, they're one pound, so they're quite a good cherry option. Uh, I've got some honeydew melon, which is um, yeah, lift it up. Some honeydew melon. Uh, I suppose I could be saying whether these things are free or not. So grapes free, juice tins cherry free melon speed easy peelers one kilo these will be mandarins i would think easy peas of easy peeler family size sweet and juicy oh clementines they're clementines now easy peelers uh, what are these other ones i got tendrons uh black pitted pitted black olives uh, them ones, which are these pitted black olives by Sainsbury's. The better ones from, were from Niddles ages ago. I got which they were basically on the stone. They were delicious, but they've stopped doing them. Now they were a part of their Greek range, which was a um. I've said, I've got some frozen stuff on the floor here. Really. I need to put away straight away. Um, a frozen. They were their Greek range. I can't remember what they call it. Um. But that was a, they were quite nice, but I don't know them anymore. So. That's my plan foiled. Um, Burford brown eggs. So <clears throat> I decided that I was doing vegan for quite a fair while. Um, and then I decided eggs are quite useful. But I still how I got, got going to have eggs for the boy. Because my little boy likes eggs. And I just feel a bit like he does like eggs. But... I only have really an egg on the Monday with my cooked breakfast. I'm overly, I don't really like eggs that much anyway, so I don't tend to have that. I did try the crustless quiche thing, but it was not tasty. I don't really like the flavour of eggs. Um, but I've got these because they're Clarence Court, Mabel, Pyrmans, Burford Browns. Um, and these are apparently the... Um, Eggs where by the uh, eggs that chickens that produce them do not have their beaks clipped um, with this company. 
so all the other free range eggs you get um, are their beaks are clipped um, to stop them pecking each other and stop them hurting each other and that's quite a sensitive part of their body so I feel a bit mean going through the bit where they uh, so I've done that I, mean, I still have my milk here and there I haven't got soy milk recently because it kept separating that was upsetting me and annoying me so I've been having a little tiny dash of whole milk but realistically I'm trying to work my way towards just having it black because I'm pretty sure I can get there just having black coffee it's not I only ever have a tiny I don't really like milky milky coffee so I only ever have a tiny dash anyway so I'm sure I can get there to be black that would save me even have to bother with any type of milk um Otherwise, should, yeah, again, it's the nourishment, isn't it, about the milk? So, I don't know. Right now, I just have a bit of, <laughs> a bit of normal milk. Uh, I was thinking about going back to almond milk because um, it was quite a useful. Because uh, they do now, they do it again in Sainsbury's again now, um, and it was quite a useful thing to have. I think kind of better than the soy milk, really. Although the soy milk was creamier. Uh, the soy milk is very, you know, it would just sort of separate. I don't, I don't want a hot drink to separate, so I might go back to the almond milk. Uh, sliced mixed peppers. So I've got frozen mixed peppers. I don't know whether I've already put them away. I think they might be in here. This little bag is pretty damn temporary. Well, they just undo the bags. I feel a bit, uh, it's quite useful to have these bags, so... I do try and uh, they sort of wrap them Thanks up. for the orange juice. Oh, you're welcome. I mean pineapple juice. Is that what it tastes like? It tastes like pineapple juice. I'll open that. There we go, it's coming out. I don't know what it tastes like, but it... You quite like it. There we go, come in. Ben's been watching the telly with his headphones on. Transformation. Right, so these are the, um, what's these called? Sliced mixed peppers by Sainsbury's and they're £1.50 for a pack. I try and be ever so good and have a layer of my freezer that is full packets and the bottom layer becomes, I try and put that in there and then the bottom layer is open packets save me getting confused as to where things are um mixed peppers chopped onions so i've got them in there as well so these are the frozen chopped onions so these are the types of things i use for um got some extra bacon accidentally well they gave me some extra bacon in the men so i could just keep it my partner he has those bacon medallions and because it's sort of like he doesn't do Slim World properly, but it's a way of him starting to you know, doing Slim World has a thing, he's very happy with himself. He weighed 10 stone, five points something or other the other day, he's very happy with himself. Um, yeah, I use the chopped onions for the batch cook, uh, and also that, but the thing is, chopped onions frozen are a bit more expensive than just normal onions to chop, but. You know, having to chop seven onions or so is very boring and time consuming. So I've got basic 15 Yorkshire puddings. Um, these are for the kids. The right ones so disturbing because... To top up... Uh, um, occasional meals. Um, so like, for example... Um, uh, we have sometimes during the week they'll have chicken nuggets and they'll have some Yorkshire puddings, just a couple of bits. And Benjamin likes cooked carrots and Guy likes raw carrots and there's some beans. Um, and they have these types in just the frozen um, basics Yorkshire puddings. I think they're they still 60p, uh, 65p now for 15 because. I, I don't find them too much of a problem. I, I, um, I don't want to particularly eat them. And if I make sure I only cook the amount that they're going to eat, then there's no extra Yorkshire puddings for me to eat. So that's helpful rather than making a batch and then there's extras. You end up with 12 all the time then. Um, 
So Linda McCartney rosemary veg sausages. I should have been patient and got them from Lidl's really because I'm sure they would have been cheaper but they were two pounds but they, I used them for my uh, pasta and mixed veg and sausage and also used them on a um, Monday for the cooked breakfast and sausages on the Sunday night what? sausages, mashed potato and uh, broccoli I think we have um, so rosemary bread it Sausages, basics, detergent. So we've got the some uh, basics laundry detergent, liquid concentrate. We're washing um, whole milk. So Jane Sainsbury's whole milk. I don't know how much you have to. Have. You can have for the half extra. I think it's like 175 mils or something. Some oh. I'm going with the two pint. I got the four pint. Uh, just the two pint was from last week. Um, just to top us up between orders. Um, some sparkling water. So this 25p for some basics uh, sparkling table water, which my partner uh, tends to keep in the fridge, which I will do that now, because keeping the sparkling water in the fridge means that when you mix it with your squash then it's cold water and then it's a nice refreshing drink um, soft cheese uh, Gaia likes soft cheese with things so I've got her some soft cheese some saying to be soft cheese that's not a problem for me I don't feel like the need to eat that especially after Gaia's had it because it's a bit slimy um, Jump the what highest jump and then blow us out. 0.5. Don't know what that is. JSDS orange mango 1.5 litre. Ah, no, it's sugar. Must be this stuff. Yeah, there it is. So, this is a free drink orange and mango. We have that one. Uh, that one. And then my partner has this one. Lemon, sometimes we mix them together. String nass lemon. That must be the same thing. Lemon juice. So we use the lemon juice for. I put that with my pasta and veg as a. Um, a little, um, that's a, quite good with courgette and that sort of thing. Lemon juice. So that's why I use that. Um, and also use it in the hummus. But my partner tends to have more than I do nowadays. He makes himself some hummus. Um, Jubbly tropical. I think these are one sin. Some little uh, triangular little chaps that um, you can you put in the freezer, and then you can. I mean they're obviously frozen and you step them open, but they're quite good because they're in the little tetra pack, so it's all very recyclable. A quick look on the packet. I think they're one sin anyway. Yeah. One sin. Tomato and, tomato and jalapeno relish, which my partner has a lot of. I don't know the sins on that one, but it's around. You can have some more pineapple Yes, you can. Um, tablespoon. That looks like a one sin per tablespoon. Mango chutney, which my partner has with his curry is this which I don't find again I don't find that a problem I don't eat that um, I've been yeah that's not a problem for me I don't I'm not overly fussed on that I used to love it with poppadoms but then that's because I like some crisps so I think it was just the crisps rather than the mango chutney that I enjoyed or the poppadoms basic spaghetti Keep it in this little tub that my mum and dad got me, which is a long little tub. Um, this is a very good product because it's uh, like, what is it, 20p now? 20p? 20p for a pack, and you get a good couple of meals out of that. Um, so, I'm the uh, kids like the spaghetti. So, I have this thing where I'm making a uh, make a sauce 
from the spaghetti bolognese that we had on a Saturday. I make plenty and then I use some of that to make, uh, add a bit more tomatoes with it. And then I, um, just to pop it out, uh, whiz it all up and then I put it into little bags for the kids during the week. So it means they can have spaghetti and pasta sauce with a bit of cheese and then that's easy for me to um, produce. So I boil the spaghetti in the pan and then I put the bag on the um, was on the top of the spaghetti with the water just to loosen it because you know how sometimes when you freeze things in bags it's like the little corners get stuck in the product and then you like end up ripping it and then the little bits of plastic sometimes get left in so I just put that in the spaghetti water just to loosen around the edge and then pop it out into a, one of the bowls that they're going to use anyway to have their spaghetti in and in the microwave it goes and then it's all moistened up and oh, moistened up the other one heated up and then I separate it out put spaghetti in so that's a very handy thing and obviously it's very cheap the spaghetti so the ktc chickpeas these are 35p a tin um and uh they uh, which is cheaper than the sainsbury's own brand and these were used for chili the curry and hummus uh chopped tomatoes which there's nothing in there yet because i have not put it away just the cartons of chopped tomatoes, which I use a lot of. Pretty much every single meal we have. Chopped tomatoes. Um, I haven't been doing with these things are free or not, have I? But chopped tomatoes are speed food. Uh, natural cottage cheese. Um, again, I was doing vegan and I decided to make it easier on myself. And cottage cheese is something that's kind of stuck because I've ended up having it with curry and with chilli instead of rice. I don't know why I don't really want rice anymore for some reason. I just, I think it was very bulky and I don't really want that. So I ended up having, I ended up just not having it at all with it. It just sort of put me off a bit. And then I started having cottage cheese with it. And that's quite good in a way for me because firstly it's free, but it's also protein based, which helps me feel fuller. Um, the, the rice was brown rice. I think it does have an element of protein in it. But for some reason I just, I don't know wasn't interested in that so I've ended up having cottage cheese with that which I should actually show you where I'm just touching it fat free natural cottage cheese and I've got a large amount which is like 600 grams I think um, I did used to eat a bit more of this but I've started to not eat it as much so I don't get quite as much as I used to soft cheese garlic and herb so I've gone for because I'm not doing the vegan thing as much anymore it's got a bit mushed into it it's got a lid on it. It does. Shouldn't be too slimy. I think that did get a bit battered in the process. Um, so this is a lighter soft cheese, garlic and herb. So I still make, I don't do the cannelloni anymore because I couldn't find the cannelloni tubes one day and then I got some lasagna sheets instead and we got some whole wheat lasagna. And then it's easier than the cannelloni tubes because all I do is make the same sauce but then I spread the lasagna you sheet with this not. like butter on a like butter on a taste and that's very easy because all I have to do is just do the sheets so but it's also a lower sin than the other soft cheese the vegan soft cheese I was using also cheaper um so the product at the end the lasagna product uh doesn't um the sins are much less so I think it's rather no, than eight no. sins per cannelloni serving it was it's about sort of five four sins the cannelloni serving now which is a little bit easier for me to accommodate so some baked beans which is these uh, packs so uh, a six pack of baked beans as uh, and they are again pretty much a staple in the household use them in the chili and um, with the kids food in terms of when they're having some Yorkshire puddings and the chicken nuggets and some beans. Uh, and they have... We decided... We wouldn't normally do the chicken nuggets during term time. Um, but we decided that we would have something quick and simple during the holidays. Because sometimes life gets tough and you just need an instant meal. So we decided we would go down that route. That means that we can just slam the oven on and things are cooked. Then all we have to do is add a few bits extra to it. That saves them having spaghetti all the time which is <laughs> the other alternative what they do so 
This is a six pack of baked beans. They're £1.45, I think. Yeah, £1.45 for a pack of six, which works out the same price as a basics tin of beans, etc. But they're in a pack of six, so they're easy to, easier to manhandle. Uh, wholemeal bread, 400 grams. That's a half a healthy extra B per slice, which is a very handy thing for me to have. I like to be able to split my health extra bee instead of having all in one go. Okay, go ahead, pop a Lula. Can I just have some more? Cereals? Yeah. yeah. And that. You'd like some more smoothie? Do you want to yeah. bring your bits and bobs through and put some more in there? Yeah. The King's more 50-50, so that's what my partner has and the kids, which is a... But again, it's not been a problem for me. I have not one tempted to eat that. Ta-da! Ta-da! The hummus on the floor. I like tipping hummus on the floor. Kingsman all 50 50, which I think is around five sins per slice. Five thousand sins. Uh, JH hummus. Hummus over here. I like tipping Gaia hummus likes the hummus, uh, but she doesn't like the ones the one that we make home wise. So we get this pack of hummus. Um, that she can put her carrot sticks and her bread sticks into, or um, but also sometimes it's sometimes quite useful. Sometimes I like eating it raw. Sometimes she likes eating it raw. So that one, I think it should be an open pack already, Mungaloo. There. Yeah, that's it. What? Doing your shouting time. So we've got some bacon. these uh, be good to yourself 50% less fat uh, unsmoked baked medallions which I think are free on plan Wait, but I don't eat them anyway stuff, it is but I'm uh, Jane Day asked me to do a shopping haul so I'm doing exactly what I've purchased some potatoes that's it be careful not too much milk because you get fed up halfway through and then you have more milk than you need no you can't tip it back but you can always pop some of it in yes I will <laughs> We've got some greengrocer yeah. potatoes, 2.5 kilo. You've got your little train seat, little chuffy chuff train seat. I am a train seat. Greengrocer potatoes, 2.5 kilos. There he is, some potatoes. Ah, it's blowing up and then the some potatoes there they're very handy for the southern world chips and i put a little cut through two bits into the curry and obviously jack potato in an emergency if you need something jack potato beans and a bit of scraps from the fridge in terms of speed food that's a handy little emergency meal um also use potatoes for mashed potato on the sunday uh, we grow some mushrooms, have the mushrooms on the Monday for a cooked breakfast. They've gone in already, yeah. So we just grill them. On the Sunday, no, the Monday, and I tend to have most of them. My partner has a few, and the kids do not like the mushrooms. Um, but they all tend to be gone in that one meal. Uh, classic tomatoes. So just a few tomatoes here. Can I drink this all? I wouldn't drink it all. I'd put it into a little cup. Where's your cuppy cup cup? There it is, look. A little sup. Good boy. A TNT cake. Blowed up inside. Hey, yeah, sunshine. Um got tomatoes. I think they've been there already. There we are. Classic tomatoes. Classic round tomatoes. Use them on the cooked breakfast on the Monday and uh, grilled tomatoes. And we also use them on the veg, uh, pasta and veg one on the Wednesday where we just kind of cut up tomatoes to go over the top of the pasta and veg. So when it microwaves, you've got a a tomatoes bridge. run through it. Uh, tangerines. 
some tangerines there and some I one thing's quite nice to have a selection of different types of oranges it's very fancy rather than just one type of orange uh, ripe and ready nectarines because nectarines is the best fruit but they don't last long eat them very very quickly ripe mangoes ready. I get ripe and ready nectarines and I get ripe and ready mangoes because then you know you're going to actually just eat them they'll be ready to eat, to eat them. Um, sometimes if you get the ones where you kind of ripen them up from nectarines and such then sometimes they don't quite ripen so we just get them and we eat them oh, they're quite cheap at the moment admittedly the nectarines are only £1.50 so once they bump up to four pounds or so which they do towards the other you know we don't we just don't have nectarines then we only have nectarines when they're cheap we have another type of fruit it's always a sad day when the nectarines <laughs> go out of season uh and the same as the mangoes once they start it's to bigger. become prohibitively priced we just don't bother with them banana fair trade loose which was always very good to get a it kilo of them the green they've come round green this time But, you know, we'll deal with that because they'll ripen up soon enough. So we've got a couple left from before which are just going really to kind of be eaten today. And then a couple of these will theoretically ripen nicely and they'll be ready in a couple of days. Bananas are always handy just to have as an emergency snack. If you're very hungry, um, you can fill you up quite quick. Conference pears. I do like conference pears. I don't, I don't really like them when they're very soft and mushy, so they'll be eaten quite soon. I don't like them when they're quite hard as apples, but somewhere in between. Blueberries, which Benjamin has already eaten. A little pack for them, but again, they don't last long. Sometimes we get a few, but mostly Benjamin eats them all. Um, but again, they, you want to eat them, otherwise they go mouldy, don't they? So, some chicken nuggets, which is 175 Chicken breast nuggets coated in crispy breadcrumbs. I don't know how many sins they are, but I would not eat them anyway. Because it's, um, and that's the other thing about them being chicken nuggets. There is no way that I'm going to eat them off the kids' plate because there is no part of my body that wants to eat chicken nuggets. So they're <laughs> very safe food to feed them because if they don't want to eat them, then... There's no way I'm going to eat them. They're quite a safe food to feed them. Um, sliced mushrooms. It's frozen sliced mushrooms. And that's to go into the curry and into the uh, chilli. The curry's quite nice with all them mushrooms. Here they are. Look. And then we put them away. That's where they are. Sliced mushrooms. They're super handy. Just to come in. We are. Um, char grilled mixed veg, which is what I do on the pasta and veg one. I literally just slam some of this in, which is you've got Mediterranean vegetables. So what's that got in there? Aubergine, courgette, red pepper, and yellow pepper. And then I just put peas and sweet corn and some more mixed peppers with that. Bit of lemon juice, bit of paprika, bit of salt and pepper, bit of oregano herbs, like dried herbs, and that works really well. Big old pot of pasta, scoop off some of the pasta to give the kids with some leftover pasta There's sauce from the naked. freezer. And that works ever so well on a, on a Wednesday with midweek week, well, mid week meal. Um, and my partner has a bit of cheese on, and I don't really bother with the cheese on top anymore. I have cottage cheese with that. But chicken nuggets to come away. There we are, and we're in. No, skipped ahead. Uh, energising. They're like Slimey. sort of vit um, vitamins that my partner has, uh, which are these little energising effervescent vitamins, which uh, I think it's like a full. Uh, can I have some charge? Yes, you can have some charge. It's vitamin C, vitamin B1, vitamin B2, niacin, vitamin B6, folic acid, vitamin B12, biotin. Pantothenic acid, magnesium, and zinc. I don't know if they've got any 
sins, but I don't think they do. Has it run out totally? Here, Mr. Benji. I'm going to have to come over here, sunshine. Benny boy. Benny. Well, you can't, he can't hear me. Benny. He can't hear me. I'm plugging him in. He's got no charge. Yeah, sunshine. You're going to plug that into the side? Yeah. Do it. That's it. Get it. That's it. Get your little charge in. That's it. Right. There we go. Um... Yeah, so I don't know how many they are to have as a sins. I don't think there's any sins in them. Uh, I don't tend to have them. I do maybe occasionally have them, but not really. Chopped spinach. Bag off. Chopped spinach. Use that with the curry. And that's a very nice thing to have. Chickpeas and curry. And, sorry. Chickpeas and spinach. And uh, uh, potatoes and carrots. It's all very nice that spinach uh, a speed food again as well basic sultanas I had them in the curry last week and that was very nice just a few of them I can't remember how many sins it is but I think it's not very many sins for a little handful it's like I think it was like I don't know I can't remember what does it say 30 grams serving looks like it's about four and a half sins Thereabouts. I can't remember whether you can have any healthy extra beer. I don't know whether you can have sultanas as a healthy extra beer. Um, but obviously if you use it as part of a meal, 30 grams, then it's obviously split between... So 30 grams in a curry is going to be split between four of us because there'll be four meals taken out of it. Excuse me, so it'll be like once in each meal. Nude popcorn sweet. So I don't want to do the thing where I have crisps in the house because that just doesn't help anybody. So I've just been having popcorn in the house um, and then I have been splitting it up into little portions of bags, but I've run out of those bags. But they're quite good to split up into that. But having this popcorn is quite useful to feed the kids, you know, if you just want to give them a snack, then they've got that there. Um, and the other day, it was very good, I had some popcorn with blueberries all in the same bowl, and that worked really well. So we won't do that, because Benjamin's eating the blueberries. <laughs> but um, it's uh, that's the other thing to say, is that I will do a little, if we run out of fruit, and then I will be doing a little bit of a um, shop. I'll, I'll do a shop um, midweek, not a proper shop or anything, but literally, you know, when you just run into Sainsbury's and get, grab a few bits, I will be getting fruit, because the kids are at home, obviously, during the holidays, so you end up having to feed them a bit more, um, and they, therefore we run out of the fruit a bit faster. Um, so I'm sure we'll get some blueberries again during the week. Uh, Multigrain hoops, which are these cereals for the kids, which particularly interests me, um, and so I don't end up eating them, which is again quite good to have seed that I don't, that I'm not that fussed about. Um, hot curry powder is here <laughs> which I don't whoa, 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 oh, whoa. suddenly oh. had a worry that maybe this has got seeds in it actually I don't think it would coriander seed, turmeric, cumin seeds, ginger, cayenne pepper, garlic granules, pimento Chili powder, fen fenugreek, salt, black pepper, paprika, cardamom, cinnamon. Cinnamon. I don't think this has got sins in it. It says per tablespoon, energy, 26 calories. Um, I don't think that's got sins in it. Might do though. Should probably check. But I used two tablespoons of that for curry. So if it was, then it would be half a sin per portion. Mm, basics mayonnaise that's for the lady the little girl she likes mayonnaise i don't again because this is quite a high calorie one um one tablespoon is two sins i'd not be touching this that's not something i eat luckily it's quite rich and not it's a bit it's not tasty so i don't bother with that it's handy kidney beans in water this goes with the chili tin of that in there um, just basics, kidney beans. What do we got? Prepackaged broccoli. Benjamin loves broccoli very much. 
and so I have to be good and I have to get the broccoli. Guy, Benjamin likes the top parts and the guy likes the stalks. So that's what we do, have some broccoli. Um, it goes off relatively quickly, doesn't it, broccoli? So we tend to eat that on a Sunday night and then the rest of the week we have chopped carrots instead with the meal rather than more broccoli. Um, strawberries. Pound fifty strawberries, some basic strawberries, and not basic British strawberries. I do like strawberries, but I do not like cold strawberries. I only like warm strawberries. But guy likes strawberries, so she'll probably eat them. Um, well, probably eat them. She'll probably enjoy to eat them. They 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 have been bought with guy in mind basically, and I will eat a few. If I'd got quick enough to the blueberries, I would have had a few of them. Big be fast with Benjamin, because he loves his blueberries. Um, and then uh, some toilet cleaner, which I feel like maybe I've got the wrong one, but no, I think it's because it's a slightly different thing. Basically, I got the I go through the on Sainsbury's thing and then just use the one that's on offer at the point, but I need one that's um good to get the lime scale off in the toilets because then you can just uh, no, it's good, it does. I just want ones that actually take the lime scale off, so that's good. Um, because that's easy way to clean the toilet. In the old house, we used to live in honing. We had a septic tank, so we couldn't really use those ones. But now we don't have a septic tank, and we can use them, and that makes toilet cleaning a whole lot easier. Uh, and stir fry veg, finally, which is in here somewhere. I think I've put it away. Yes, I have, because there it is. So this is a very handy thing for me because um, this is just stir fry vegetables, simply cook from frozen. Everything in there I think is speed foods, peppers, peppers, broccoli, so carrot, bean sprout, broccoli, red pepper, yellow pepper, red onion, baby corn and water chestnut. This is a lovely little pack which is a complete and utter lifesaver for me when I just want something quick and simple to eat because I have a pan with that in. I've got some soy sauce here, dark soy sauce from Lidl's, very cheap. I do need to get some more of that because I've only got a little scrap left. That's too handy. I've got some Chinese five spice here left over. I just have a little sprinkle of Chinese five spice. And these packs of noodles, fine egg noodles, Sainsbury's. They're quite good actually. It's like one pound something mm. or other for six in the middle, so it's quite handy. I only ever need one, one little segment, and and that's all done within a ten minute time scale. And that's very quick emergency food for when I'm really hungry, mm -hmm. but I cannot be bothered to do anything. So I really find it handy to keep that stir fry veg in stock. So that all came to seventy three pounds and twenty five pence, which is just about right because I like to keep it around eighty pounds for the week shopping and that gives me a little bit of leeway to bump up to 100 with little bits and pieces from the rest of like pop into Lidl's to get these yogurts I have uh, these little skier yogurts which again are a bit of a lifesaver um, if I just want something I don't know what I eat these for really sometimes I have it for a bit of breakfast sometimes I have it just with a bit of um, fruit on the side but they just find this is quite a useful thing to have. There's raspberries, the blueberries, the vanilla um, I get. And I just, um, the vanilla is nice. I quite like, I like all of them really. It just, and because of the high level of protein in it, it just really fills me up. I can never eat a whole one, but maybe a third and I'll have like a bit of it. And then I'll be like, mm, that's a bit better, a little bit better now. Um, and then, yeah, just have a bit of speed fruit with it some uh, blueberries not in it with it don't mix i don't mix it together i just have it on the Chill. side until i'm filled up and then i feel a bit better um yeah so that gives me a flexibility and obviously during the week i do tend to need to top up with fruit because the fruit will not be quite enough um from what we've got here um so the unavailable products today were uh, white flesh nectarines so I would have got two different types I've got some yellow flesh nectarines there and I would have also got white flesh nectarines because Guy likes the white flesh nectarines better I quite like the yellow flesh nectarines myself um, but 
you know, that's quite it's quite nice to have the different types of nectarines, especially when they're it's like the same as the tiny oranges. It's um what a funny place to get to where you actually have a selection of the same fruit. <laughs> You've got not only do you have nectarines in your house, but you have actual different types of nectarines. Not only do you have tiny oranges in your house, but you have different types of tiny oranges and you can tell the difference between the two. Um the other thing was the chickpeas, um, where I cold. wanted for cold. You're cold. Do you want to put the blankie on? I want to that short time. Do you want to go and put some trousers on? Can you get me the um. trousers? <laughs> you can get your own trousers, little man. Yes, you were so clever. Do you want to get your own trousers? <laughs> That's too funny, Benjamin. There you are. Bop. You go find your own trousers, sweet. You can leave it there for a minute. And you no, go get, I know. You get your, I know, but look what you got there. You've only got a few seconds of charge. Why don't you leave it here for you? Go get your trousers, put them on, they'll be waiting for you. He's a good boy. Oh, my, my punches are running low now. I've got 15%. Um, yeah, chickpeas. I wanted four, they sent three, so that's plenty fine. I don't. And then, but I don't see. Need my you don't well you only need your headphones because I was doing the video, that's all. But if you can put your trousers on. No, I got I was doing the shopping that I was saying about the shopping arriving. That's why I was in here. Um Do you wanna put your trousers on there, little man? Yeah. Good put your trousers I'm just on. Gonna you're gonna wait you're gonna wait, basically. I'll be I'll be probably finished anyway by the time I get back down. Um, um, um I was gonna say Benjamin and there, what was I gonna say? Bye bye. Uh, yeah, that's it. I can't remember what I was going to say. Chickpeas, thing. Blah, blah. Oh yeah, and then if there is anything missing off the list, that's uh, I then I just put it. I've made myself a little Peggy type list thing going on, and then I just write it on there. And we've got some chopped tomatoes. That's already been done. Frozen onions been done. Toilet cleaners been done. I've got some freezer bags I can only really get from the shop in town because they're only one pound and nine p or something for a 50 pack and then they got their little pinky together tops which are very useful and they're very cheap for 50p not 50p one pound nine for 50 of them uh i've got to get some soy sauce from Lidl's because that's the cheapest way of getting it i've got some curry powder i've got some potatoes and i've got some multivitamin fizzy so i've just crossed all that there's nothing else particularly i need to add so then i know that when i go into town so tomorrow when i go to slimming world i will get the other bits i'll get some more yogurt and i will get some soy sauce Hello. okay all right i shall this is a very long video i will stop here and i will upload just one minute for me just one minute give me give me three seconds give me three seconds say goodbye and then then you're free then you're free okay um Bye. Bye. We'll see you in the next one. <laughs> That's what most videos you do. say. You can tell you what you say with YouTube kids, can't you? You like that? We'll see you in the next video. Oh, yeah, there's no sound. I know, because I've turned it down, Ben. <laughs> You're so cheeky. Right, okay, now I'm going to go now and um, prepare myself. Let go! See you later, everybody. Lots of love. Bye.